Hey, Colonials, how's it going? Mr. Berg here. Uh, I am here in our award-winning band, uh, the home of our award-winning band, uh, the band room. Um, today, I want to talk to you about scheduling, attendance, expectations, and grading. So we are going to go over a couple things here. Um, we're going to look at our eight-week eight outlook, what the first eight, de eight days will look like, what it will look like from August 24th to October 5th, our attendance procedures, our grading procedures, and our expectations. So this is our eight week reopening timeline plan. This is subject to health data. Our uh, district and school board will, will keep on monitoring that. And as we get closer to uh, the 5th of October, they will make a decision on that. Our first eight days, we are going, uh, we are going to run a half day schedule. I'll show you that in a minute. And we are going to focus on um, Active, actively engaging our students. We're going to focus on social and emotional learning. Uh, we want to make sure that our students are taken care of um, both mentally and physically. Uh, we are going to focus on teacher professional learning and, uh, and making sure that students have, uh, have quality access to the digital tools they need to be successful here. Uh, we will, so let's look at that schedule for the, um, I'm sorry, for uh, our next phase then. Uh, we'll continue to monitor the health data. Our CTE students will return to in-person instruction uh, on August 17th. The reason why we have just CTE students returning then uh, is because a lot of the uh, what, what they do can only be done in person. So our welders have to be uh, in class welding uh, to earn their industry certifications uh, for that. Uh, we will be making modifications to the classrooms uh, as, as needed. Uh, so that way we, we can make sure that those students are safe. We'll make, we'll make modifications to the building um, to make sure that they are safe. Uh, students for the CTE program should park in the back and enter in through door 21. Uh, and the bus will drop off at door 21. I will give you some information later on um, about, uh, about where you will enter in other schools. Actually, it's right here. So then we'll, we will continue to monitor that, um, our, our, our health data as, as we go through September. The school board will have a check-in uh, in, in mid-September. Uh, E-learning will continue. So from 824 on, we will be doing a full day schedule, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, that is where we will, we will be uh, uh, you know, expecting more of a normal type of uh, school schedule. As we get closer to October 5th, then we'll, we'll make a decision on, on what returning to school looks like. So here's our uh, schedule for the first eight days of school. As you can see, we will be running 21 minute classes from 9 a.m. to about noon. Again, the focus on this is to connect with each student daily, ensure the digital tools are functioning and set procedures, uh, explicit social and emotional learning, and uh, uh, building relationships with kids. It's been a long time since we've seen you, so we want to we want to make sure we have some uh, some time to connect. In the afternoon, our teachers will be doing professional learning. So this is what it looks like for week one and week two. And a lot of this is just making sure that we are learning best practices for e-learning. Again, we're trying to mimic as close as we can what, what a normal school day will look like. For From 824 to October 5th, uh, he, this will be the schedule. You will follow your normal schedule with the exception of lunch. So there are, 40, there are 45 minute time slots and there's a, about a 15 minute passing period, so to speak. So from 9 a.m. to 9.45, you'll have first period. Then from 10 a.m. to 10.45, second period. Everybody will have lunch from 11.45 to 12.15. We will change that once you come back into the building, but we'll have another orientation uh, later on where we'll go over what, what the building will look like once everybody returns. Uh, so again, 45-minute classes in the afternoon, ending at 4. We want to provide students with as normal an educational experience as possible. Students and teachers will follow their schedules with the exception of lunches, and lessons will be a combina combination of synchronous live and asynchronous lessons. Attendance will be required and tracked in both live and synchronous lessons and asynchronous lessons. A uh, student's uh, student is present in a virtual class in a synchronous, synchronous lesson. They should be logged on during that time. Uh, asynchronous uh, lessons, a student completes a learning task, participates in a class discussion, fills out a check-in form. All those tasks must be completed by 11.59 p.m. each Sunday evening 
uh, to count as present. If, if they're not done by then, then, uh, then they will not be counted as present. So attendance check-in, we want to ensure that every student is safe and has everything they need to receive a quality education. Uh, attendance is critical to your success. Probably now, I mean, it always is, uh, but even now it's, it's more difficult because, you know, you don't have uh, a building that you're going to every day. So you're going to have to be super disciplined to make sure that you're getting up, creating that routine, getting on at the same time every single day, and following your schedule. Uh, when a student misses three classes in a row, we, uh, we will try to contact home uh, and we'll make multiple attempts. If uh, no contact is made after multiple attempts, an administrator will conduct a home visit. Uh, we really want to make sure that, that, that you're safe and that your educational needs are, are being met and that, that our technology is not holding you back. Uh, uh, for uh, PowerSchool, make sure, please make sure your uh, contact information is updated in PowerSchool. Uh, we will send out a Google form to all students on the first day asking for them to update contact information if that's not already done so. Grades, students will be graded on their work similar to a normal year. Uh, you, you should adhere to the teacher's due dates and communicate with the teachers if you're having any trouble meeting your deadlines. Uh, this is, uh, the grading procedures will be just like a normal year. What we need from students and families we need for you to, uh, students, we need for you to check your email daily, log into your Google Classroom daily. Uh, parents, I shared out on Facebook uh, and if uh, and on our Twitter account. So if you look at the bottom, I've included our Twitter handle and our Facebook uh, page. Um, I shared out a uh, a YouTube video on using Google Classroom as a parent. So I would, I would suggest that you check in on that because that's going to let you know what your students have coming up in each class. What, what they, you know, you can look at PowerSchool then and see what they're missing and look back and see what it is. Uh, students attend and participate in live classes. Keep up, uh, uh, keep up with your grades on PowerSchool and ensure your reliable internet. So if you look here, I'm going to show you, uh, and I'll include some of these links in uh, down at the bottom. And uh, so if we, if we look at this, Go to the e-learning. This is the sb.school. So this is our corporation website. So this has a whole bunch of really good resources, a back to school checklist, uh, how my student will receive instruction, has some information on, on Google and, and PowerSchool for parents. A parent's guide to Google Classroom. Uh, expectations. If you don't have uh, Wi-Fi, we will have 35 buses out and around, and, and you can see this is the map and, the, and their schedule for where they will be. It also has information on free wildlife Wi-Fi locations around uh, the city. For some reason, the map's not pulling up, but it's usually there. You can see where um, you click on here, you can find out what your, uh, we'll go over this stuff later. Yes, yeah, so a lot of great resources on this. We want to make sure that you're taken care of and that, that, that your needs are met. And, uh, and we, and we're going to have a great year. It's gonna be a tough year, uh, but, uh, we're going to get creative and we're going to have some fun with it.